a love read. All right, we are looking at the static this week. Okay, for those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive. Much of what you see on this channel will not be traditional. All of my um, spreads come from spirit. All of my messages come from spirit. Okay, for those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you. We're having some fun, Halloween-y joy, my favorite time of the year. Whew. All right, so let's see what is going on here. All right. I almost feel like, okay, Aries, deceptively, okay, what came out was deceptively, you're like, this is what I'm wishing for. But the sun is illuminating here, right? What you are really wishing for, right? Okay. The summer energy here is that you, this wish card of mine, is that you may be wishing for one thing and wanting another. Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, there is a mask here. There is um, almost like they're telling me hidden agenda, like you're wearing this skin, right, in order to just be. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. All right, Aries. So what's going on for Aries? Thank you. What's going on for Aries? Thank you. What's going on for Aries? What's going on for Aries? Thank you, thank you. Okay, what is the overview energy? What is the static current energy and future possibilities? Oof. All right, so Aries, I was like, let's look at the bottom of the deck and Spirit was like, no, we'll be here all day. Okay, created Creativity, novelty, artistic struggle with forgiveness, mildness, and kindness. Okay. Whatever you've been trying to create here, and it very much with that spiral, feels like there has been a lot of feminine pushback on this. Okay. I feel like be gentle with yourself, okay? There is some sort of message, some sort of gift that's going to be coming your way. Okay, ambition and drive, right? For most of you, I feel like this has to do with career, with being seen, with um, recognition, okay? Now, this was face down, which means spirit is saying that this is um, something that you don't see yet here. Okay. There is a return from the past that, um, okay. It's almost like a contract from the past coming in. Um, so Mercury retrograde could be bringing in some sort of contract to, um, help you move past this, but we're going to clarify. Okay, tell me more about, all right, the creativity block. Okay, yeah, okay, two of pentacles. Like, so let's say, Spirit's showing me, so like, let's say you're an artist and you weren't being able to showcase your wares at a certain gallery. Okay, everything's going to move to a different gallery and it's all going to be okay. Okay, so... Um, there could be moving house for some of you, okay? And that's going to bring some clarity here. Okay, <laughs> the hermit. I love this coming out here with the ambition and drive, right? You've been through the storm. You don't see the light yet, but it is coming. 
Okay, tell me more about this. Soul contract. Nine of swords in reverse. And you can see there is, again, the empty cage, okay? There is nothing to worry about, all right? Whatever this is that's coming in, it feels creative, it feels authentic, it feels more like it's something about movement forward for you, and it's none of that, you know, hooey, heartbreaking stuff, okay? Now, the overview of the main part of the read, though, is the King of Cups. Okay, I feel like as soon as you get yourself moving forward here, somebody's like coming in with their big guns blazing, okay, uh, trying to work their way back in. Now, the static in this is Page of Wands, okay, is that this person doesn't say what they mean, or it could be you, roles can be reversed in this, but there it's like trying to uh, decipher things between the lines, okay? The current energy here is that I do feel like you're tired of the games. I feel like you're just going to be, you're like, I'm just going to be happy. I'm going to take off my mask. I'm going to be who I am. And the future possibilities here is the Nine of Wands as a crossing energy. So there's something coming in where it's going to really make you authentically see the, um, the hurt that maybe you haven't been accepting or validating. So let's go ahead and look a little deeper, okay? Let's look underneath the surface here. Haha, <laughs> the King of Cups. Okay, crossing energy here. Okay, Page of Cups. Um, they're coming in because you're transforming. And for some of you, it's because they can't see you. Again, you may have moved. Now they're, you don't have easy access to you. And the Ace of Wands, right? They see this opening, this awareness of, oh, I've got to follow this because this is where my emotion is leading me. Okay, the static here with the Page of Wands. Okay, you are everything that this person wants. Nine of Cups crossing. Okay, no matter which direction they go, this is what they want. Okay, but they just don't know how to manifest it, right? Like every time they try to shed their past and come forward, they can't. They, um, there's a heavy burden that they are carrying and it's definitely timing, okay? The sun taking off your mask. Yeah, all right. Dreamer here of um, wands. I do feel like if this person comes forward, you're going to say, listen, I'm happy now. Unless you can give me full emotion, uh, unless you can give me what I want, need, and desire, I am happy in my big old house by myself. Okay, I don't need any of this mess. What's crossing this nine of wands? Okay, <laughs> the world in reverse. However, I feel like as soon as you walk away from this person, like you miss them like crazy. Okay, three of pentacles. There's this desire to return, okay? Patience. <laughs> uh, three of wands. There's a lot of desire um, here in the future. Um, we're going to take a look at what causes that to return to this person. Okay, tell me about the overall okay, page of cups here, okay? Temperance. I do feel like it is time for these emotions to come out, for this conversation to be had, um, for you to figure out where it is that you want to be, where it is that they want to be. Ace of Wands here. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Um, I feel like for some of you, you've been doing all the work 
or at least that's how it's felt for you. Um, you do have a community around you helping out. You just have had to do a lot of the heavy lifting yourself. Okay, Nine of Cups here. Queen of Swords. Yeah, again, okay. For some of you, this could be a same-sex, okay, relationship. Take it how it resonates for you. And um, maybe there have been flies in the, in the ointment here trying to, you know, get into this person's head regardless um, and tell them that this was no good for them. That's the static, okay? And so they're not being able to, yeah, page of swords in reverse. They're not being able to tell you clearly what they want, need, and desire because up in their head, they're questioning everything. Dreamer of Wands. Okay, you're ready to be clear here. <laughs> Four of Cups in reverse. I'm tired of being bored. I'm tired of waiting, right? Seven of Swords, I'm tired of secrets. I'm ready to defend my big old house all by myself. Queen of Pentacles, right? Queen of Pentacles can do that. Queen of Pentacles can bring home the bacon, fry it up in the pan, okay? Do all of that without having to worry about someone else. Doesn't mean that Queen of Pentacles isn't lonely. Okay, right? Look at that face. But <coughs> Queen of Pentacles can do it. Okay. The world in reverse. Okay, yep. Again, Nine of Cups. I feel like, again, this is not going to be over because as soon as you get settled here in this future energy, there's this, oh, but wait, I do love this person, okay? We've got the Three of Pentacles, again, the King of Cups, okay? Um, I want to work on this. I'm ready to work on this. Three of Wands, I'm ready to now move forward with you. Strength, okay? Now I emotionally see what I was missing here about this situation in the past. Temperance, okay? You're wanting to dig it back up. Nine of Wands and the Seven of Water. Here's the thing I almost feel like, okay? It's like you decide you don't want this person. And, um, right, temperance is, do I or don't I dig back into this? You're like, I, I really do want this person. But, right, in your head here, I feel like you've gotten yourself pretty guarded. And this is a pretty powerful connection. And I almost feel like, right, like that looks like, like death's, okay, tool there, the scythe. And you're trying to hurry and grab this before it ends. Yeah, okay, Knight of Pentacles. Um, We've got the emperor's horns on the bottom here with the eight of wands and like the sun kind of getting out of this space where it's almost as if, you know, you've kind of, you've taken too long and this emperor has moved on. So let's see what else spirit wants you to know. Now this is future possibility, so that doesn't mean it has to happen that way. Okay. 
maybe you just have the conversation now and you work it out. Okay, yep, yeah, there is change coming here. It's going to take some work. There's a part of you that wants to push it away. Okay, um, because I feel like there is so much creatively going on here for you. Yeah, okay. Now, artistically speaking, right, you do work better when you are in Zen, when you are in peace. And perhaps this is so powerful, this connection with this person, that it kind of takes you out of that. It might be that that's what you're nervous about. Okay. The challenge is, do you take this hand or do you let them go and you have gratitude for the time that you've had together, right? Again, it is very powerful, but being powerful doesn't make it, you know, something that's going to just last forever. You have to put the work in. So let's go ahead and see the closing oracle here. Okay. Remember, if you have um, liked the reading or you've gotten the message that you needed to, click on that like button. I'm looking for 10,000 likes this month. All right. The witness. Yeah. Okay. Again, for some of you, I do feel like this is same sex because the witness is, um, does have this strength within and is wearing the emperor's horns, but it's a feminine energy, but this is completion of the cycle. So for others of you, it could just be, um, recognizing the balance within or, you know, recognizing that if you're going to go all in queen of earth, I do it all myself. That is a little bit of a trauma response there. And you kind of have to work through that if this is what you want. Okay. So I hope that helps you, Aries. I hope you have a beautiful week. And I hope to see you back here next week. Um, I think next week I might do the forecast. We'll see. All right. But I will be doing a bonus read for whichever sign gets the most loving contributions. So click on that like. All right. You guys already did it once. You kicked Fanny. If you haven't seen your bonus, go check it out. All right. Much love, guys. Bye.